The Queen needs to start loosening her control over the throne, in order to prepare the country for Prince Charles' reign, a royal expert claimed. Queen Elizabeth II is suffering from ongoing mobility struggles, which at times have forced her to step down from attending various engagements, and left her eldest son, and heir to the throne, Prince Charles to attend on her behalf. Due to her age and health struggles, speaking on Sky News Australia, UK constitutional expert Dr Craig Prescott has advised the Queen to look at loosening her control which, in turn, would also prepare for the transition of Prince Charles taking over as reigning monarch. Dr Prescott said, the Queen has taken a very singular view of her role that she's very much Queen. She, views herself being Queen in a total sense. He added, we may need to look at just loosening that structure. It also prepares for the transition. Previously speaking on LBC, royal author Phil Dampier discussed how Charles has regent in all but name. The 73-year-old has increasingly been undertaking more duties and taking on a more prominent role within the firm. Mr. Dampier said that slowly but surely Charles is having to step up and take on quite a few of the Queen's duties that she can't do. Dot he added that this is simply because of her age and because of her medical condition. In May, the Queen was due to attend the state opening of Parliament but was forced to pull out due to ill health. At the time, a statement was released by Buckingham Palace explaining the reason for her absence as episodic mobility issues. The monarch has only missed the event two other times, both during her pregnancies with Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. Prince Charles and Prince William joined forces and stepped in for the Queen, and Charles read out the Queen's speech. Earlier this week, Buckingham Palace confirmed that the monarch will meet the new Prime Minister at Balmoral Castle in Scotland next week. The event traditionally takes place at Buckingham Palace. The monarch is currently in Scotland, where she typically spends every summer. She is likely to return to Windsor in October.